students, welcome back uh, for this module Nutrition Biochemistry for Exercise and Health. And you, now you are doing, you know, your first week session with me. And below is my email ID. So you can communicate to me through my this email or through Calendly link. Today's objectives, as we already uh, told you that what in part when you have completed your assessments about the module, what you are going to be do, the part one on examination, that is of multiple choice questions. And that will be for 30 minutes. Other assessment will be on a case report study. And in the part one, you also have done what actually the body composition is. Now in this part two of session one, you are going to study the methods. What are the methods to assess to evaluate the body composition? And this is the table again showing to you so that you have the knowledge that what you are going to do in this module, two assessments. First, class test examination that would be constituted of the multiple choice questions that you have to complete it within 30 minutes and the weightage of its marks will be 25%. While the case study report, it would uh, constitute of 2000 words and the weightage of its mark would be calculated 75% of this whole module. And the learning outcomes one and two will cover for this class test. Um, today I will also teach you the same topic that I need to do learning outcome one and two. That will also help you in the preparation of your class assessment test. So in the component one, what you are going to do? Multiple choice questions that will mostly cover five to six week session in this module. Yeah. So to do list that what you are going to do? The body composition assessment methods. It's a little bit, you know, revision what you had done that what actually the body, our body is composed of. It composed of muscles, bones, and fat. And then the fat, it is divided into two essential and non-essential fats. Okay, essential fat are the, that are required for the body, while non-essential fat are the extra ones that are not required. So they are then showing the what? That person is going towards unhealthy condition, obesity. That may be uh, lead to any chronic disease, obesity, or ill health problems like metabolic problems, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases. So the chances of these chronic diseases will increase due to increase of non insertion fat that is also called as the storage void in our body. So the normal composition of muscles in our body in a male per, is 45%, while in female is 36%. If these are abnormal, then it would be suspect that there'll be a chance of any abnormality. Though keep in mind athletes and obese persons because sometimes athletes have good muscle mass rather than the fat mass. Yeah. You had done the two component model and how the uh, microscopically our body can be divided and how our total body mass can be calculated by calculating the fat mass, both essential non-essential in our body by adding fat free mass. What are fat free mass that constitute our body mass? Water, protein, and minerals like proteins makes uh, our hair constitute, you know, hairs, nails, and what we can say, muscles, and minerals like bone, and water that is in blood. This is example. Okay, so let's go to the assessment methods that how a body composition can be assessed. There are two methods to assess the body composition, particularly the body fat. So what these methods are, there are two direct and indirect methods. Indirect method, it is further divided into chemical dissolution and physical dissection, while indirect methods is divided into two laboratory methods and field methods. It means indirectly we also can evaluate the body composition that will be assessed in a laboratory or in a field. However, the direct method is by 
means of introducing a chemical in the body that is split into microscopic composition of the body that are fat and fat-free components. What fat-free components that, for example, see in this picture, or if we just use the general term of dissolution in English, it means that when body, uh, a certain what we say, solute like uh, a gas or any particle that is dissolved in a solvent, so it splits into, you know, small particles, it dissolves in it. So like this, by this chemical dissolution, so body is split into fat and fat-free mass like the minerals, calcium, magnesium, proteins that are the amino acids. So this picture is giving the elaboration of this. Yeah. Then physical dissections come. Physical dissection means that physically we are dissecting, opening the body to study, to evaluate of which the body is composed of. And I give you the example of this frog here, but this also happens for the human body as well. Yeah. So this is extensive dissection of cadavers. What it means means a dead body. And we usually do not perform for a live human being. These are for dead bodies or forensic cases. Okay. But indirect methods are convenient and can be used to evaluate the body composition of a live human beings. Yes. So next. We are going to now Bristol's cadaver study. A little introduction that uh, Bristol was a person, a scientist, who evaluated on, you know, body composition by dissecting the dead bodies of human beings, some females and men. And what he observed that uh, when he dissected it, he evaluated the body first layer is composed of the skin, beneath is the fat, then the organs of the body, and beneath the skin, there's a, some fat that is called as the adipose tissue. And what then evaluated putting out some different organs of the body, submerged in the water or in a scale and evaluated its weight, densities, and volume. So this is the procedure that how directly can we do. But for a live person, I think I think what it can be possible to do. Yeah, for the indirect method, yeah, we can do submerge a human being inside, but keep in mind that the person will be breathing. So indirect method, now laboratory methods and field methods. Here are some pictures showing how it can be done. And in detail, I will go in more slides. So first going into detail, learn the names of that methods and uh, instrumentation procedures, how in laboratory body composition can be evaluated indirectly. There is no need to dissolve any part of a human being in a chemical, in a solvent, or have to dissect the whole parts, yeah, which can cause the threatening of life. So it's kind of possible, but indirect methods can be possible. So which lab methods are that are hydrostatic beam, then the DEXA, DEXA means dual energy X-ray absorptometry. Then ADP, ADP is the air displacement plethysmography. Then 3T photonic scanning, computer tomography that you commonly listen and know that CT scan and MRI scan. So CT scan is the computer tomography and MRI is magnetic resonance imaging. So I think uh, they are very difficult terms and first time you're listening this, so please see again and again so that you can learn these names. These are very important and can come in your assessments. So please learn this. Yeah. I'll, Anything can come from any lecture or the chunk that are related to your learning outcomes. For to learn this, uh, however, you can prepare a mnemonic such as HPCM, by which you can learn. H stands for hydrostatic wing, A stands for air displacement, D means taxa, and for PCM, PCM just to and calculate what it stands for, like the C for the computer tomography and M for MRI, and P is the plethysmography. Now, in field methods that are called uh, the indirect methods, how 
you know, body can, composition can be measured, particularly the body fat. So there are one, two, three, four, four techniques for procedures that are called as bioelectrical impedance analysis, skin force and growth methods, ultrasound, near infrared rate, interference. So here the sample of the skin pore, how the skin can be folded and can be validated by a scale, a caliper that measures how the visceral adipose body fat a person has here. And by the ultrasound, see there is example. Ultrasounds such as of a thyroid are also seen in a pregnant woman to evaluate the baby area. So by which means the glands and other parts of the body can be evaluated. Other are the near infrared interference. Here the infrared radiations are used. These radiations go inside the body, penetrate inside in the body. And these are used to evaluate the body composition. So according to the absorption and reflection of these infrared rays, the picture will come in the computer. Ultrasound is very common that I already had shown you. So anything, any question still you have, you can ask me, you may, can email me. So bio-lateral impedance analysis, it is a, one of the indirect procedures to measure the body composition based on the rate at which the electric current travels through the body. And ultrasound here, it is also called as the sonography as well. So it is also a procedure that uses high frequency wave sounds to evaluate the body composition or the body parts inside that we cannot see by the naked eye. And the hydrostatic wing, we will go it later on. Yes, now hydrostatic wing is coming. So this is now a laboratory method among indirect methods that we didn't go on in detail, this one. Yeah, so among laboratory methods, number one is coming hydrostatic wing. Now we are going and just studying a little bit about these procedures. So what is now hydrostatic wing procedure is? Can you please find and tell me what is this? So what is this hydrostatic ring? It is one of the most commonest uh, used and most accurate ways to measure the body fat. But now in modern era, there are now other ways as well, uh, which are CT scan and MRI. And why they are used to measure the body volume, body weight, and body density. So this is the most accurate measure to evaluate the body composition, body fat, because uh, what it does it is always remains constant. If a person is submerged in the you know water, so how much the water is displaced when person, for example, this beaker is full of water. Yeah, and we will throw a stone or a large brick inside. What happened? Some water will come out. Yeah, this is the like same that we put a scale that is called as the densimeter, like a weigh machine, a weight physical weight balance, so on which a person sits down and then we, through the machine, we submerge the person inside, but keep it in our mind that the person is breathing by the instrument inside, yeah? So then how much the volume has displaced out, go out to, while submerging the person, so that the amount of the water will be calculated that will come outside. And then what we do, I will show later on in other slides, there is an other equation as well for this. Now, another is coming is DEXA. So what is DEXA? DEXA stands for Dual X-ray Absorptometry. It means DEXA is a sort of the two X-ray radiations that are thrown to a part of the body to evaluate by the reflections and reflections the body density of a part such as uh, in the, to evaluate the bone, osteoporosis, or the body composition, to evaluate the body fat, muscle mass, and bone mineral density. And it is also a good and standard for measuring the bone mineral density as well.
Now, next is coming ATP. ATP, what? It stands for air displacement photography. Now, ATP is what? It is also one of the instrument procedure that can be used to measure the body composition, and it is an alternative of water submerged procedure as well. And we can also use to evaluate the weight and volume of the babies, and it is very well convenient rather than submerging the babies or the infants in water. So it is the alternative of the hydrostatic wing. Other is the 3D phonetic. 3D phonetic scanning, it's like a 3D scanning of the whole body, which gives the whole body texture, size, shape, the geometry that is called as the anthropometry, and all things of the body measurement that are related to the phonetic scanning. Phonetic means the sound waves. Photo means light. Sorry, I said sound. No, it's light. Photo means light waves. By throwing the light waves, we are scanning the body texture, size, and the geometry that are the physics of the body and the sound. Now, next is coming the CT and MRI. CT is the computer tomography, and MRI is the magnetic resonance. So the words you know, reflecting themselves that how they are using to measure the body composition. CT means that by the computer, that means computerized measurement of the body, com yeah, body composition and body components and MRI by the magnetic resonant waves. So they are of the best good and well accurate and good standard diagnostic procedures to but, you know, diagnose the body images or body composition or any part of the body, like for the cancer or any organ or part of the body evaluation. So, MRI use what? These MRI actually are the radio waves that are the magnetic resonant waves. And while CT are the X ray waves, and they are particularly used to measure the bone minerals, bone densities, or the fractures, and MRI for mostly the soft tissues like the brain or any, any brain injury, but particularly in when we see in perspective of the body composition, both can be evaluated. X-ray CT scan for the density, dense things like the bone and MRI for the soft viscerals to evaluate the body composition. Now, what is coming the word densitometry? It is actually the scale that I showed in the example of submerging in the water by the hydrostatic procedure to evaluate the body weight of a person, body composition. So this scale is called as a densitometer. However, it is also used to measure the body density and body volume as well. So body volume can be measured by using what? This scale will then called as a hydrodensitometry. That means underwater wing. And if we are measuring in the air, that is the alternative of hydrodensitometry, hydrostatic weighing procedure. It is called as the air displacement plethysmography, and the machine is called as the port port. And uh, now next that how this concept comes to evaluate, to assist a body volume or the body density. Is it enough that we are weighing our body weight by standing on a scale, on a measuring scale or on a weight scale, how this concept comes? It was come by Archimedes in 19th century. He thought he picked two metals that are the pure gold, one pure gold and one silver gold. Sorry, silver metal. He put in a physical balance to evaluate the weight. Both had the same weight, but however, he noticed that gold is Pure gold is very small and the silver is very big, but how they weight are equal. So it means that how much the space an object is getting is called its volume. So by this way, in the hydro underwater wing, hydrotensimetry, we are making the body volume of a person by submerging into water, in water sea. The person is inside now completely in water. So how much water is displaced out? like this in the beaker, then we can evaluate.
Archimedes also proposed a equation as well. You must know because of the, regarding the preparation of your exams. What is the vo volume definition? How it can be evaluated? What is the equation as well? Okay. Here is the example. Archimedes what did on the scale? He put two weights. Um, when he weighed metal outside in the air, it was 5 kg, but when submerged in water, it was 2 kg. It means when he submerged inside, 2 kg of water went out that he collected in a small beaker and weighed. So in a physical balance or in an electronic scale, it comes seen 2 kg of water. It means the volume of that metal is 2 kg, while the exact weight in air is 5 kg. Now, Put the equation in and evaluate. What is the equation that air weight minus the water weight? See here, mass in air minus mass in water equals to weight of displaced water. Here is another now equation is coming that is related to the density. Density equals to mass divided by volume. So you must have to know this equation so that you can solve any related numericals or the questions related to it. And in simple terms, how we can define the density? Density is the measurement of how tightly a material is packed together. It's called as the density, while mass is the body weight and volume, how much the area space a body is covering is called as volume. Here is the example I'm giving to you. Now think there are two boxes of same sizes. One box is made up of wood. One box is made up of a small thin card. So what do you think? Or, what, or a plastic box. So what do you think? Which will be heavy when you put both in your hands? Yes, the wooden one. So think why? Because of its density that the material is more packed than of the plastic or a card. Okay, so this is the difference. Now here is another example is coming. Jack and Dale, both are the brothers and they were weighed together by submerging in the water in a scale. However, Jack weight was much more than the Dave, but Dave physically was more, you know, obese looking obese. So why Jack weight is so much high? because he's more muscular or athlete going to gym. So his muscle mass is more in comparison to the name. However, while this volume is much more uh, because of the body fat, which is unhealthy. While Jack is healthy because the muscular part or the prunes composition, that's other healthy. How we can measure by this, by the weight, and by the displaced volume of water. By displaced volume of the water is showing the volume of a person and weight showing the mass, the body composition, the percentage of the fat a person has. So this is called, you know, Archimedes principle. Now, can you identify these pictures? What is this? And why it is used? It is used for what? Yes, this is air displacement machine pictography. This is used or called as the report to measure the body composition by, uh, by calculating the amount of air displaced, particularly the volume of a body. And this, this is to measure the infants called as the peep port by displacing the air. So can you now find out some advantages and disadvantages of hydrostatic wing and by measuring body, you know, in air by through air displacement procedure? So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Now what this picture is showing, what is this and for what it is used for? Yes, to measure skin folds and the good measurements, the visceral body fat through a caliper. And see now scale is showing how much the body fat. 
do not take the muscles. These are the biceps. So what we have covered in both parts that what are the assessments that you have to do in this module and you have unpacked the requirements of the test. Uh, that is the part one assessment uh, of which is 25%. Second assessment was the case study report that you also have to unpack it that constitute a weightage of 75% and word count would be of 2000 words. Then you study the term body composition, what is this and why we use this, what is the difference with the body weight measurement. After then in the part two, you had covered the differences and what are the different methods and the models to evaluate the body composition and what are the differences among them. Now, after this session, your homework is that you have to find the advantages and disadvantages of these methods and then provide an critic analysis of these methods that what is why, for example, I show you that CTA and the MRI are the gold standard. So why? Like this. And these are the references of this lecture. Thank you. If any question, you can email me.